We're Mark and Alice, a couple who left the UK in search of somewhere to build a homestead and connect with nature. This led us to Alentejo, Portugal. Follow us on our journey as we we'll build our homestead, learn to live more self-sufficiently and acquire new skills in farming, permaculture and more. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another day on our farm in Alentejo, Portugal. In this video we're going to show you a couple of different ways of planning contours on your land uh, ready to dig swales. So what is a swale you might be asking? So a swale is a permaculture water harvesting method. In simple terms it's just a ditch dug on contour which allows the water to soak into the ground and not just run off. The benefits of swales is that the soil has better hydration levels allowing trees and plants to grow around it without additional watering required. Swales also contribute to the underwater aquifer levels which then improve the levels of springs and wells. As we have really sloped land, we plan to dig a lot of swells and hopefully a pond. This will help us be able to grow trees on some areas which are either too sloped or get too dry in the summer. Over time, this will improve the soil quality. It's just more hydrated. And because you're planting more stuff, more organic matter is building up across the land. It also increases the underground water plume. And finally, it helps us manage the flow of water on our land particularly around our house where uh, a lot of water runs past the house and also creates a bit of a boggy area around there so we can try and manage that a little bit more effectively. So our initial plan was to actually 3D map the whole land however after looking into this in a bit more detail it does require a lot of time and effort and actually a lot of funds as well as uh, some of the software I looked at was quite expensive. I also don't really have the time to sort of learn about 3D rendering and, and things like that right now. Maybe in the future I think it would be a cool skill to have and uh, cool to uh, obviously map the whole land but you know in the meantime I had to sort of try and find a easier to use and cheaper maybe free tool something that would be able to help us understand more about our land and then effectively uh, plan out the swales so in this video i'm going to talk through an online tool i found which is completely free uh, anyone can use hopefully it'll be useful to you if you're trying to plan the contours on your own land and then i'm going to also build a basic a-frame to then use for when we actually mark out the contours on the land so first I'm going to talk through the online tool I used. I'll link this in the description of the video so you can find it, but I'll just show how I use this tool. I'm interested to hear if anyone else has any tools or free uh, software that they've used before to do this. In the next video, we're also going to compare the contour lines that we found on the online map versus the contour lines that we actually uh, dug the swell for so it'll be interesting to see the accuracy there. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video and I'll get started now Put in the description or you can just literally type in uh, contour uh, map creator uh, It should be one of the first ones that comes up Okay, so here we go So what you want to do now is you want to zoom in on where your property is and um, in the interest of privacy, I'm just going to skip this bit out while I zoom in to where my property is. Okay, so what you do now is you uh, basically find where your property is. And you probably want to go a bit further with the contour lines just to uh, just to be able to give you a, a sort of wider overview of the of the area. And, you know, if you've got sort of like different hills and stuff around your property, it can work out whether, you know, you get a, potentially get additional flows of water to your land. Uh, so once you've done this, you just uh, select uh, get data. And then it basically has uh, a lot of the contours here. If you scroll down to download KML file, basically comes up here. And then what you could do is open should open in google earth which you'll have to uh, download for so what you can do is you can just go back into your downloads and then open up the contour map okay so basically this shows all of the contour maps that i've downloaded so you can play around with it some of them are quite similar so i wonder whether it's just like a an error duplication but it gives you like a good idea so 
just been playing around with it just to see what comes up on what map. Some of them like cross over each other, like here, for example. But anyway, it will give you a rough idea. This is our land. This is the land that came with the house. Um, so we can see all the contour. Sorry, oh, it goes up to here. We can see all the contours there. Uh, and then this is the other land that we had. So obviously we can see that this is basically the bottom of a... Uh, two hills uh, which is pretty obvious anyway but um, and then this is where we actually are going to plan on drawing the contour lines um, so we're going to have to see see how that works out but uh, yeah what I found was quite cool about uh, Google Earth is basically you can go and change the date so you can kind of less relate it to con contouring obviously but I thought it was quite cool you can relate you can change the date and see uh, you know, kind of what, you know, what it looked like at certain points. So I thought that was quite cool. Anyway, unrelated. So where we want to actually dig the contours are, there's one here along the very top of the land. Uh, and then we want to do one around here where currently we have some of these fruit trees placed, not on contour, but, you know, I'd like to put a swale in there and then plant some additional trees on, on top. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll look to put maybe a, between two and four swales on this land further down the line, and then kind of more across this land. And then longer term would be the other land. Yeah, you can see kind of like a good, gives you a good idea of where you should put things. And then you can kind of check that off with the with the A-frame. So Hopefully this is an interesting tool. Like I said, it's next we'll get on with building the A-frame. I was just about to cut some wood to make an A-frame, uh, just to plan out the contour lines for the swales. And uh, all of the wood I got is so warped, I don't think it'll be right for a, an A-frame. So I did dismantle, well, obviously the beds that I had from the polytunnel, the wood's still pretty straight. So I think what I'm gonna do is take one of them apart uh, plane it down the middle and then use that as the A-frame. So need to sort this bit out, sorry about the mess. Uh, I'm just gonna dismantle one of them now and use the wood from that. And then hopefully we can get started on building the A-frame and then planning out the swales, which I'm really excited about. So I think this should, this wood should be all right. Um, it's less rotted in the middle than some of the other bits, but it has got this uh, has got this hole here. So I don't know whether if I'm cutting it in half, it might make the one of the pieces a little bit weak. Um, but yeah, I think this looks all right. With the with the raised beds, um, I am going to repurpose them. So I'm going to maybe put some raised beds up near the house or put some around the outside of the other veg garden. Probably raise them up a little bit more. But uh, yeah, the wood seems okay in pretty good condition still. So it seems a shame to, to just uh, just throw it. So I definitely make use of that. But yeah, let's, let's cut this one down. So I actually cut the wood thinner. So I've got this uh, off bit here and then these two are pretty much the same width and the same length. So what I've done is I've um, put a screw in at the top. And now what I'm gonna do is basically 
um, screw in two screws so I can uh, hang the the level on there. I have seen people just put like a plank of wood across there and then like just put the level on top of it, which might be a, another option I go for, but I think I'm gonna try this way first. Um, and then we're there or thereabouts. So as you may be able to tell, it's a slightly different bit of wood. Um, I had it there because the light from the garage is going mental. Well, it's actually just on, but I think LED lights just seem to have a bad picture on cameras. So um, I put it on a bit of a slope and stood on one of the bits of wood and snapped it. So I had to start again. Here we are. So I've just come out here where it's a little bit more, a little bit more level. So that's the A-frame done. So I was wondering whether I probably should have put the spirit level further up the A-frame to then create a bigger space between the legs as I've not got any like flags or anything to use. So I was just gonna use like some like tent pegs or something like that. But yeah, I think it seems to be an okay design. As long as it works, that's the main thing. So this combined with my rough idea of where the contours are from the online map this is going to give me a really good chance of making sure that I get the swales in the right place. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting started with this. And as I mentioned before, I like probably need a digger to do the amount I want to do. But I think for the at least the first couple, I think I, I would try and dig them out myself by hand. So let's see how that goes. But um... so this was actually supposed to be a longer video. So I was initially going to sort of use the online tool, show you how to use it, build the A-frame, mark out the, uh, the the contour lines and where we want to dig the swells and then actually dig the swells and plant into it. But after getting through quite quite a lot of the digging and everything, it did uh, sort of build up a lot of footage. So I didn't want to put out like a really long episode. So I thought I'd just break it down. The video that will likely release on Sunday will be more of the kind of actual marking out of the of the where we're going to put the swells and the, the hard graft of digging it as well. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful. I'll see you in the next one where we continue this permaculture project. Feel free to subscribe to follow us along on future projects. Sake. Welcome back to... Right, stop. In simple terms, it's just a dig Thanks for watching this video. Hope it was useful. Please do like, subscribe, and comment if you... I hate saying that, it's cringy, isn't it?